This plaster mold belonged to the head of a woman who had been found in the woods. On December 12, 2014, a teenager stumbled upon the disembodied head of a woman found 30 feet from a county road. The woman's eyes had been replaced with rubber balls and despite laying in the underbrush and exposed to the harsh winter weather, police remarked on how well preserved the head was. The body and head had been professionally embalmed, likely at a funeral home, and police believed they were looking for someone who had intervened the body after it had been worked on. Immediately they started to search surrounding cemeteries for any sign of disturbed graves, but that was a dead end. The embalming process had left most DNA samples ruined, and the bits they were able to get didn't give them any hits. They were able to discover the woman had been moving around from Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, and New York. She had likely died due to heart disease. On the one-year anniversary of when the woman's head was discovered, they held a funeral for her. Her grave simply read Jane Doe, found December 12, 2014.